Okay, so it's finally time to update my reusable kitchen rolls. Um, very faded and old, quite a few years ago I made them um, as an alternative to these. So yes, these are 100% recycled, but it's still use them and throw them away. So several years ago, I used an old towel and finished the edges off, put Velcro on and made myself reusable kitchen towels, which have been used for several years, but a little bit worse the wear for, for now. Uh, so time to make some new ones. So I have some old towels that are getting a bit faded themselves and we don't use them anymore. Um, so these are going to be replaced, but I might do something a bit different because it's quite labor intensive to add the Velcro and finish the edges off and wrap them around this wooden pole, which is also getting a bit old. And uh, yeah, so I might do something a little bit simpler. So let's make some reusable kitchen towels with some old towels. Nice and simple. squares from the old towel. Uh, I cut them a little bit wider than kitchen roll size. Nothing has to be very accurate, but I want to be able to finish the edges off. Um, the outside of the towel obviously is already neat and finished off, so that won't fray, so I don't need to do anything with that. So I tried to use that as much as possible. But the edges I've cut, um, over time they'll fray and have bits of fluff everywhere, which I don't want in the kitchen. So all I'm going to do is turn the edge over twice and stitch it. Um, now the problem is when you come to the corner is that if you turn it over twice both ways, it's really thick and difficult to um, sew. So what you need to do is mitre the corner. So you fold the corner in here and then when you double fold on both sides, it makes a point like that. Now it's difficult to show here, so I think um, I'll show that with photos before I start to sew. So take a look at a, how to do a mitered corner first, and then we'll sew. finished edge and three unfinished. So then we have to do three edges, double fold and just sew straight stitch, nice and careful before I start, push it a little bit, there we go. And you can do this and pin it if you want but holds pretty well if you just pull it. Fiddly bit in the corner to miter it. Again, nothing has to be perfect.
And there's one finished reusable kitchen towel. Now I just have to finish the edges off all the other ones. One towel that was split down the middle so I couldn't use it as a towel anymore I've got 14 reusable kitchen towels so now I just need to find something to put them in because I'm not going to put them on that roll but nice and new ready for a mopping up spills in the kitchen and then I can just wash them and reuse them <laughs> My old reusable kitchen towels, don't need them anymore. I have some nice new ones. So I've got just seven of them in this little basket. So it looks a lot neater now. Uh, the towel made 14 altogether. So I've got spare ones. As these get used, I can replace them. Um, better than buying them and checking them out. Better than my old ones that are all faded and falling to bits. Some nice new free Homemade, reusable kitchen towels. Hopefully they'll last a few more years now. So the tutorial and pattern to make ones like this is on my blog. I'll put the link below this video uh, if you're interested in making ones like these or this video showed you, though you don't really need it, how to make simple ones. Perfect.